George, into the fourth round of the FA Cup for the first time in the club's history. I see it saying the same thing after the Barrow game. What's the overriding emotion? Um, very calm. Um, but again, I can't say the same for our players. I thought we thoroughly deserved to be in the fourth round of the FA Cup. Um, and we showed Steven H every respect in our preparation leading to this game. Um, we know what's in our changing room in terms of the quality, in terms of the, fit, the, the, the fitness of our players. We did the work um, in pre-season with them and we set out today to make sure history was made. We told our players, I told the players before they came out today to enjoy every bit of it, leave everything on the football pitch and have no regrets at the end of it. But I told them there was one more step. There was one more step and we could, we could, we could cause an upset today, a big one. And, you know, and they've come out and they've played within our team principles in possession. I thought we was electric in the first half. We moved the ball well and, you know, we break play. We switched the play as quickly as we could. And we had moments, um, but again, those moments, um, we was organized behind the ball and out of possession. We was nice and compact. We were solid to beat. We dealt with the crosses well. Um, and when we, when we cleared the ball, um, we, we, we made sure there was height and distance in it. And we was really, really organized on the transition as well. On the counter, we did it with, with speed, but also um, we recovered with speed as well, which is important. I mean, the first half, I mean, I don't really think Steven has hurt us at all, would you say? I mean, were they maybe shocked about the way we sort of set up against them? Um, I wouldn't say that. It's all credit to our, our group of players. They've come out and executed um, the game plan. Like we've, we've analysed on the video, we knew, we knew their strengths um, and we knew their limitations. Um, and we had to respect them in terms of our preparations. And our players have come out and we did say, um, you know, if we move the ball as quickly as we could, then um, they won't be able to deal with us because we know fitness-wise, we're as fit as anyone in, 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 in the National League South if not the fittest team in the National League South. And also, um, I'll say we are up there in terms of our physicality. We was aggressive and we said if we are bold in our approach, then um, they will be shocked in terms of how, how well um, we defend against them, but also um, how the quality in terms of our technical play um, within the team set up. I mean, in these sort of games, you're always going to have moments where, you know, we come under huge pressure and obviously Steve just came out a lot more. They've had some good chances, but when they hit the crossbar and sort of go the second ball doesn't fall to, do you start to think it's our day? Yeah, I began thinking um, um, when, you know, you, you, you're up against a League One side, well established, sitting seventh in League One and all due respect to them, they're going to put you under pressure. But we said this, I wrote this on the board in there, how resilient can we be when we are under pressure? Can we, can we stick at it as a team? Can we make sure we don't panic? We stay calm. Um, and I thought we did that in terms of, um, you know, the way we deal with things. And I thought Lucas Coverland, when he made those saves, absolutely kept us in the game. Excellent save. But again, towards the end, you could see the confidence was growing. Um, and we weren't faced by it because then I thought in the end, they ran out of ideas. Um, we forced them to doing things that they didn't quite like doing. And I thought we was in content. And it was quite calm the last four minutes when the boats went up. And to get over the line and see this place rock again, the Gallagher Stadium, Maston United Football Club, Maston United Town and Maston United Community is on the map again. I think in terms of the naps that achieved, I mean, even before the old, the old club back in, uh, the, when our bus back in 92, never reached the fourth round of the FA Cup. You know, is this maybe one of the most proudest moments in, you know, in your time in football? Yeah, definitely. It's up there. It's history. Um, you know, it's not just for myself, it will be for our group of players, it will be for our staff, our owners, um, you know, all those behind the scenes, my management team, my assistant manager, Craig Fagan, um, Zach Foster Crouch, but also for all those who work behind the scenes um, this, this week and the week before, um, up to this very last moment. Um, again, I'm talking about Ben, our, our media guys, John Gooch, um, behind the scenes, Ian Toka in the office, Helen, Bob, um, Helen, Helen Cooper taking photos, um, you know, credit, credit to all of them um, because I'm not forgetting uh, Luis and Andy that's in the office. So I, can, I think I try to remember all of them. <laughs> um, but again, it's about making sure moments like this, we all enjoy it together. And, you know, this is history. And that's the thing, and you know, creating history to the fourth round, the last 32, you know, I mean, 700 clubs into the competition. To be in the last 32 is one hell of an achievement for a club at our level of football. I mean, you've got to think now we've, we've sort of earned the right now I think, to have a big team in the next round. Well, you know, I can't, I can't say for, for the draw, whatever happens, I'm sure everyone will be proud of Mr. United Football Club, and I'm sure everyone 
um, you know, in this country, abroad, in Africa, in Cameroon, most especially. Uh, my former college, St. Joseph's College, Sase, and my town, Kumba, is going to be rocking. It's going to be rocking. And everyone is going to be waiting for that big tie. Um, but again, I'm going to say this, the cars down here often because we like big occasions. We are Meston United Football Club and there's something special down here going on at this football club. And, you know, all credit to our group of players. They've been magnificent and they deserve this with their families and their friends. And, you know, as a football club, we deserve this. I mean, I saw you just at the end as well with your kids and everything like that. That must have been such a great moment for yourself, mustn't it? Yeah, I told them today, I said, Daddy's going to come here today. Daddy's going to make another history. Um, you know, if you've, if you've been listening to my story, you know, I've got faith. I believe in myself. I believe in what the project that I take upon. And there's no, there's no, there's no magic wand in it. It's hard work, determination, respect, humbleness, transparency, honesty, enjoyment. And if you have all of that, more especially diversity, empathy, if you have all of that as a human being, you know, then people want to work for you. People want to play for you. People go beyond and above to help you. And, you know, knowing that you're doing everything you can to become a success. And this football club is especially, has a special place in my heart. And now, after this, after this historic moment, um, you know, we have to just enjoy it. We have to enjoy it. Well, thanks for your time, Gaffer. We'll speak again on Tuesday. Thank you very much. Thank you.